really so happy to be here, I can't tell you. Um, it's an honor. My sister Elda used to live in this town, and um, she was amazing, and I'm going to dedicate this show to her um, tonight because I loved her, loved her dearly. And uh, she's not with us anymore, but um, she lived here for a long time, so I spent a lot of really beautiful nights up here in Woodstock and in Kingston. Um, I want to say thank you to Jess Mallon for having us. And uh, we're going to be loud, so I hope you don't mind. Um, thank you for coming out. Till the end. 
Me and Derek just got back from the Outlaw Country Cruise, which is uh, a real cool thing to do. Five days on a boat with 2,500, you know, rabid fans of music, and everywhere you go, there's people around and music and stuff. So if you go to the cafeteria to eat, people come and talk to you. It's very nice. You get to know people. They spit on your food. No. Um, but we had a great time, and it's Steve Earl and Lucinda Williams and the Mavericks and. But the boat is kind of crazy, and, and I'm one of these guys, you know, I'm always in the city and I'm out here for five nights. I was kind of nervous about the thing. So we get on stage and we're playing and the thing is shaking, and I said to the crowd, if it looks like I'm dancing, I'm not. <laughs> it fell over, it was, it was a shame, but we had a blast. You know? We got to go to Jamaica, they put Lee Scratch Perry on the boat to sing country songs. It was, uh, <laughs> Anyway, um, I, on the record, Sunset Kids, I have a song that, that kind of name checks Jake LaMotta and Bernie Taupin and a few others. And it's about a toxic relationship that you just go, you know what? This is beautiful. This is called Chemical Heart. They say you got a chemical heart. You chatter through the difference of all this part. You say it's on the tip of your tongue. You've been making up excuses and see you will go. Be your baby sitter. I don't want to be your baby. I don't want to be your jingle minder. I don't want to be your ex best friend. You step on the edge of the world. Walking down the street like this year's girl. You call me a chemical fire. You got a lot of nothing but it's fine. And there's my stage manager, this guy Michael Sticker. He's dressed all in black and he's got one of those big mag flashlights that looks like a horse's penis. And he comes walking on, he says, Shane McGowan is here. I turn to my left and Shane is on the stage, uninvited, drinking bourbon out of a Pringles can. I said, Shane, he said, blah. I said, Shane, what do you want to do? He said, blah, blah, blah. I didn't know what that meant. I said, we got two covers. We got Oliver's Army by Elvis Costello, Neil Young, Helpless. He said, rub it, rub, 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 rub. I said, all right, we'll do the Elvis Costello tune. This is by Shane McGowan and the Pogues. <laughs>
Oh